Another thing I found. Hi, my name is Connor Hulahan. This is my media and culture studies assignment four. I'll be talking about the immersion first and then the um, fast second. Right, so the first thing to say about the media immersion was that, um, how similar it was to everyday life. I figured I tried to immerse myself in um, the media as much as I could, but I found that my everyday use of media um, was enough and that we were, we were rely on it. Um, a lot anyway. Another thing I found was that the fast rather than the immersion um, showed me more about our use of media and the lights on media, which was quite interesting. I did my uh, media immersion after my media fast, and one of the things I found that was allowed me to notice media more. Like even in, like, at my desk, um, straight in front of me, there's media everywhere. I think the main point I'm trying to get across about the media immersion day was that it was just like every other day. I didn't realise how, how much we, we use media um, until after the fast, but it really is everywhere we look and everywhere um, you know, I think we see, I think we hear. Moving on to the media fast, and uh, here we had to abstain from as much media as we could. I think everyone sort of came to the same conclusion, like we've spoken to, that um, there's some forms of media, like you know, posters or you know, powerpoints or anything that we actually have to use every day that we couldn't have stain from. With this in mind, I decided to carry the media fast as well as I could, but like, there are some points I'll talk about later on which I have to I have to break the fast. Right, I think the first thing to say about it, um, I'll take you through my day, is that um, my alarm, first of all, I had to use to get up. Um, I couldn't use, which was annoying, well I did use it in the end, but um, I think I had to break the fast. Uh, the second and main ball ache of my day was not being able to put um, music on straight away, which is normally one of the first things I do. Get up and then put like players on Spotify or um, you know like Magic in the morning or something, and um, listen to that because it's, like, it's just nice having the background. of like the sun. I enjoy it. So that was annoying. Uh, another thing that was quite weird was um, like the routine of going on Facebook or Twitter to see what everyone's up to in the morning, see if everyone's moaning about something or whatever. And we couldn't do that. Well, I couldn't. Well, I couldn't do that. And it was kind of weird, I felt like disrupted. I wasn't sure like, what I was supposed to do in the morning. And like, I couldn't read the paper or anything else like that. So it was kind of just mellowing around, which is a bit weird. Uh, after that, I got in the shower, which is one of the things I the most. Um, then I also noticed things like you know, the shampoo bottle, or the writing, or the advertising, and that. Because I'm full of media, even if it's just small. And then after that, I uh, got dressed. And even things like you know, pictures on your t shirt or brands. In another form of me that we don't need to be take for granted every day, but I think it might be a bit more important than me. Uh, after that, I went to my lectures, which was annoying because I couldn't listen to any music on the way there or the way back. Um, and even going like little things like going through Barker or something like that, like there's advertising with posters, music playing, um, which was interesting to think about again. Once I was actually in the lecture, um, it's interesting to think about whether the you know the well, PowerPoint as a media form. Um, and whether we could listen to that or watch that, and then the, the lecturer speaking, that could be classed as a form of media. So, just doing everything we do every day is media. So, it's not that we, we, we sort of like hyper use it or saturate ourselves in it. I think possibly media is just, um, we, like, we rely upon it, we have to, we can't live without it. Sort of thing. After lectures, I came back to my room and then was going to study, but I couldn't because that's another media form. So, didn't really do much, it was just sheer boredom to be fair. Um, you know, I showered a couple of times uh, and then couldn't really organise to see anyone because um, I didn't know if they were in lectures or not, I couldn't check on the old text and be like, what are you up to, sort of thing. So I ended up just sort of um, speaking to my flatmates that I could run into, um, going to people's rooms and seeing if they were there, which is weird because it felt like I was knocking for people like I haven't done for like 10 years, like, hello, you know, so and so in, which felt a bit weird. So I suppose during the day there was a lot more face-to-face -face interaction um, than normal, but less. It's just the organising bit which was harder to meet people because um, they like if you want literally there next to them or have organised beforehand, and you can't get hold of them. So like the time space compression sort of thing that happens with um, mobile technology and things is um, I missed quite a lot that day. I think one of the um, weirdest things about the media fast was the day after, um, realising how quickly plans can be made and how instantaneous social media and other media forms like texting and stuff well, and the same thing, um, are. Like, people would organise to go out a few hours before they did and they just like around and then like, 
you're not there at the time, you're not getting left behind. So people that haven't got these like media forms or te technology forms, I think would be left behind quite easily. Moving on into the evening, um, when I normally like watch a film with, um, with friends or whatever, or um, maybe play some card games or whatever, or go in, um, into the JCR and fuck around for a bit. Um, like you couldn't really do that because I'd then be like experiencing more media. And it's weird how it sort of feeds through and bleeds into everything we do. Like even now, um, I've got Twitter and Facebook up in the background as I'm making this video, and like in between making these little clips and stuff, um, I'm checking out with people and seeing what they're doing. So like I think the instantaneous nature of um, social media is what I found most interesting. From the media files. Overall, then, it was quite interesting to see how media um, forms our everyday lives, how we interact with it, and how we sort of rely upon it. I think it was more challenging than I thought it was going to be, especially the day after. I, I didn't realise how much I, I was like, oh, this is like, it's a bit boring, but it's not that bad. Then the next day, you realise how much you do need it and how much you miss out if you're not, inter um, you're not involved with it straight away. So, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. <laughs>